<clears throat> well, I don't think I could have a nicer splice. This is probably the nicer uh, box we got because we got, some, we got some geese in the background. Uh, we saw a fish jump out of the water. Fun. But uh, today we're going to be uh, opening up this box, uh, cleaning it up a little bit. There's a little bit of debris in here, mulch, um, and add a uh, one more flat drop into this. Um, this is way back when we were running this single drop stuff, um, which I don't know. I mean, it's fine. I don't, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't like how that's moving like that, though. Let's get this cracked open and see what's going on inside. <clears throat> okay, so, get our case opened up, and, uh, you know, kind of a lot going on here. I kind of crapped this one up about two years ago, but, uh, it's whatever. It's just part of the learning experience. Um, I do have one, uh, extra well, coming off my uh, pond here I got a, a four-way so I'm going to be dropping this into um, the on the blue on my uh, um, 12 count going into the, the place and then this is for the uh, uh, well you can't see the building now but you'll see the other side of it it's the city of Salisbury um, government office it's like where the mayor is and stuff um, so I'm going to be, they get a dark fiber according to our deal with them. Um, we give them a dark fiber to all the city locations back to one central location. So I'm um, going to be just using the orange. Uh, hopefully I can find the orange in this mess and then uh, splice that. So I'll be doing a blue to blue and an orange to orange. So. All right. Well, uh, went pretty pretty quick here um, I uh, labeled it uh, city dark and then city pond just kind of separated the two and uh, that's pretty much the end of this box I mean there's like because we're on in such a weird river place um, I've hooked up uh, that building that building that building already there is one more building that could potentially sign up but I don't, I don't think he's interested so um, this will pretty much be the last time I get in this guy um, because I did not uh, it is a mid span so um, cool alrighty Let's move on to the inside of the building we are inside now and uh, let me get you a nice shot of this room Somebody, uh, somebody took some time here, buddy. Uh, they combed everything in. And uh, this is an FS shop. I'll show you the front here. This is uh, Mike at the, at the city, did. Uh, I think I want to go in the other direction like this, but. Um, looks like they've got PoE stuff here. We've got phones, cameras, public Wi-Fi, Pack 14. I think that's a TV. Oh, the public access channel 14. Neat. Uh huh. ABC data. This is the S3900. Oh, that's the S2800. Huh. We got S3410. Not familiar with. Oh, here's their layer 3. This is a 20SQ. Right? Yeah. No, oh, that's a 24. S5860. Oh, it's power over, power over Ethernet. And it's 10 gig. Yeah, 10 gig Ethernet. And PoE. I wonder if it's PoE on top and yeah, top and bottom neat. But I thought these have 25 gig ports. And then uh, looks like he's got a 40 gate, 40 net. 
uh, is their firewall here. So, wow, they're putting in some pretty serious equipment for this building. I like it. I like it. Um, Verizon, they've got some T1 stuff. They've got some old fiber stuff. Um, it's the T3 stuff. <clears throat> All that. I just unplug it. I don't know why they even have it on. I wouldn't pay for the electric. This is a um. This is a, uh, a Sonic node right here. So I don't think they. I think they need to call Verizon and tell them to get this stuff out of here. Yeah, they need to take this equipment out and close the loop. But, uh, anyway, oh, here's some good stuff. Look how much room they're taking up. How much room I get? I'm just getting a little tiny box. And um, this is the Comcast. This is the Comcast shelf they installed. And uh, I might be putting my G-Pong device. Yeah, I'll mount it to the wall. And then uh, we're getting a dark fiber here. So yeah, it looks like I'm going to need to get them a longer cable, unfortunately. But uh, let's go ahead and splice it in and get rolling. All right, went pretty pretty good here. Um, uh, I've got my uh, uh, G pod um, and then their dark fiber down here. I just separated it that way. And uh, got my splices in there. Got some little bit of extra slack from the patch cable. Yep. <clears throat> got my pawn uh, device just on the old Comcast shelf. Not sure if they're going where they will actually want it, but it doesn't go in the rack, so pretty well goes on this wall. But that plus that equals this, I guess, from Verizon. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure if I pull one of these, it would uh, break their sonnet ring. Pretty sure. <clears throat> but, uh, we ran our other uh, dark fiber, I ran it up, over, boom, and then I just, uh, oh, oops, uh, put it right here for them, I just, I did give them a patch cable, um, and they got enough to go all the way to the bottom and back up to the top. Cool. And I'm pretty confident it's going to go right there or there. Um, I think. I'm not sure if they're moving major stuff over here or what. Um, but neat to see a, a full FS shop like that. Pretty cool. Yes. Uh, we got a uh, Pretty legit operation. Now we've upgraded yet again. Uh, we have hired ourselves a driller in house now. We bought ourselves a drill. And uh, this is its first day in action. So this thing was like, uh, we bought, uh, it was like a $100,000 drill. And um, it's like a, uh, I don't know, like a $40,000 vacuum cleaner that goes with it, but it's pretty crazy. So, let's see what we got cooking.
into the drill there itself. What's the tank on the back for? It's just a whole antifreeze for the winter so the lines don't freeze up. Oh, okay. This one has one too for the pump. What a crazy... Like, you just don't... Oh. And that's the, that's the ash stuff? Yeah. Huh. Oh, sorry dude, I, yeah, I'm just fascinated as hell here. I didn't even know what that thing was. I thought it was like, would someone leave a piece of wire on here that's trash? It's like, I Everything's a tool. Yeah. <laughs> the stick. <laughs> Does it come out like with some pressure? Yeah. Or is it just like a Yeah. I think it would have to. Yeah, There's I guess it's almost like a on. Yeah, it's like almost like a garden hose kind of effect. Oh now we're cooking. Is that whole thing just a piece you can purchase? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well it's supposed to be three pieces. Oh, hot damn. Okay. Yeah, he's really familiar. He, he, he actually used the same drill when he worked right That's what, yeah, that's what Kirk was saying. I was like, damn. I mean, I, I guess once you work with a piece of equipment, you know, remember it. And like, oh, absolutely. It's probably good because, oh, Chuck's running this thing? Everybody's, uh oh, okay, hold on. How cool is that? <laughs> Whatever that little thing does. Uh, it's important as hell, don't touch it. a little bit of liquid coming out of the back there. High tech and low tech, you know. It's the grease stick. You gotta have a grease stick when you go with your, you know. Oh, dude. So then, when you pick up the next rod, put it in. 
then it self screws it on. The only thing you're doing manual. Do you need to grease this in? Oh, is it in backwards? here we got our um, uh, router uh, router one router two and um just got in the mail all I got one extra well not necessarily extra but I didn't know if I was gonna get uh, 40 gig ones and uh, we went ahead and got uh, six um, Intel uh, X520s, and what's the great part is the, and I didn't actually know this, uh, was the, um, these have a mezzanine, what it's called a mezzanine card, and so now we have six 10 gig, uh, ports on this box. This mezzanine card comes out and there's a two 